Hi folks, welcome to another video. With the holiday season in full swing, I figured this would be a good um, project to um, upload. Um, I've been wanting to do some maintenance on this cutting board for a while. Cutting boards, of course, are always gonna have cuts, uh, but this one has just too many for my, for my liking. So I'm gonna sand it down a little bit, and I'm also gonna sand down this, which started uh, cracking here which I'm surprised because I always put mineral oil on my boards, uh, but it still happened. So let's do some work on this. I just have a 60, a 60 grit uh, sandpaper and let's do this. This is gonna get loud. I'm gonna rinse this and then we're gonna put some mineral oil. Okay, so the board has dried and we're ready to um, put the mineral oil. And I just wanna show you how most of those uh, scratches, if not all of them, I think actually all of them, are gone. And you basically have a brand new, a brand new cutting board. So I have here, um, Mineral oil that I got from Ikea. So you can get these at Bed Bath & Beyond or some other stores or Ikea. And I'm just gonna pour some here. And spread it with my fingers. I'm gonna let it soak since I sanded these down and I washed it with a lot of water. I'm doing more uh, oil than I would normally do for maintenance. I really want to saturate this board. Okay, for the next 20, 30 minutes, this is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let it uh, rest and, not rest, but like absorb. And you'll see that there are some spots that are uh, gonna start becoming uh, dry. And you just spread the oil from the areas that are more wet into the areas that are uh, soaking it in until there is no area that's really soaking it in. That, that's how you know that you're done and then you just wipe off the excess. So I'm gonna come back when we're ready to wipe off the excess. Okay, so it's been, I don't know, a couple hours. I had to pour um, mineral oils uh, a few more times in this area here because it was soaking a lot. So um, what you need to do with your board uh, is gonna depend on the condition of your board, what the dry spots and the oily spots are and now we're just going to wipe it 
any excess that we might have here. And that is it. Now you have a cutting board free of all those uh, scratches. So it's going to be a lot easier to uh, clean after you've used it. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.